Hi everyone, my name is Chistakhvalov Mikhail, I am a creator of the Unreal Engine 5 course in Architech School. And in this video I would like to show the process of creating this forest scene in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start, let's turn on Unreal. Here I have now opened a standard project with the starting content with default settings. I'll create a new level, call it Forest 1. So the first thing I want to do is create a landscape. I will add here directional light and sky sphere. So that we have a sky atmosphere, we need to turn the tick in the directional light atmosphere itself. I will now form a landscape. The forest path will be. I will make more variety with the help of noise tool. Now edit it a little bit. As I make the picture mainly under perspective 1. Then I want to put the camera. So it's ok. I split the screen and half on the left side. I'll have a view from the camera and with the right perspective. Also adjust the frame format. 20 in white and 30 in height. For the focal length set to 30. Now I'm going to form a path in the woods. I want to have puddles in some places on my path. That's why I'm making these places where there will be water. I usually use coins. I'll also edit the landscape to create digs in the right places. Next I would like to apply the material landscape. I have prepared material. It has neutral color and texture and it looks good. Now I will draw the track with the other colors of materials. I will put the perspective under my camera. I will also have the ready material for water. I will add the rest of the elements. I will need skylight. And I will need a post process. Immediately I will set the value of infinite to act on the whole stage. The next element I need is fork. And now I will plant some trees. I will have two basic trees. I use the collection of DVs from the Unreal Store. I will make them bigger size. I focus on the photo. Here I have quite large.
It is important to make the right composition, so that the look clings to some elements, I will add some trees in the distance. I'm constantly checking what the trees look like from a perspective. With the basic elements I finished. Now I will add some details to the track. Branches, grass, stones. I also use several models and textures from the program collection. I'm going to edit the skylight to make it look good. I'm going to add more plants to make it realistic. I'll add more fallen leaves. I'll put a stone in the foreground. I want a small object in the bottom corner of the frame. I will add the model of the brush. The more different plant models are used, the more natural the forest will appear. We will also create a leaf mass that will fill the gaps between the trees. To do this I have created a couple of tree models. I'm using scaling changes and that acts as bias to create dense vegetation. I fill in the gaps between the trees to make the forest seem more dense.
Now you can edit the position of the sun. I also want to create volumetric rays. To do this, I need in the fork settings to enable settings volumetric fork peer. We can adjust the rays themselves. The parameter metric scattering is responsible for the volumetric rays. And we will also change the settings of the fork itself. In order to have a normal reflection in the water, I will add planar reflection. I will now edit the cameras. Select the point of focus and exposure settings. I will add bloom. In the light source settings, I will add blur to the shadows. In the parameters of the camera, set color correction. I want to edit the color of the fallen leaves a little. Now they look like stones. Also, you need to adjust the texture of the plants. It seems light now. The color of the leaves is better. But now I want to make the trunks of the trees even darker. Fine, I think I'll stop here. Now I'll make the self render. I will create a level sequel and bring the camera there. So that I have a picture of better quality. I will use the movie render. It has additional settings that will allow me to make a better render. First, I'll turn on the interesting. This will make the edges smoother. And the picture will be cleaner. Set the resolution, for example with the same aspect radio that I have, and set in the camera. The picture is ready. I think my very good result will improve it in Photoshop. I will edit my picture to my taste and add brightness to make it look more spectacular. I will adjust the dark and light areas a little. Water does not suit me very much, it looks cloudy. I will add contrast and brightness. The picture is ready to turn out good. Thanks for watching.